The new Yakima Airport director took over earlier this year with big plans for improvements to the air terminal and the available flights. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell says they are now close to putting one of those big changes into place. During the pandemic, the Yakima Airport dropped from two flights to Seattle a day to just one. A poll by the airport shows the community wants that second flight back. We had more than 3,700 respondents. And of those, uh, the top two tied locations were SeaTac and Las Vegas. If the Yakima City Council approves a new $500,000 minimum revenue guarantee contract with Alaska Airlines, the city could get back to having an early morning flight and a late evening flight to Seattle as early as November. That money coming from a mix of funding from the city, county, and private businesses. A lot of people are kind of frustrated. Why do we have to pay? And it's just, just the reality of the marketplace right now with the shortage of pilots and the increase of costs. The plan to start looking into a Las Vegas connection in the spring with flights a few times a week. They say the challenge would be to keep the flights full enough to make the profit worth it for the airline. Not sure if that's going to be a carrier or if that's going to be a charter and you know what the cost will be to have somebody come in here and, and, and fly that route for us. But we're working on that. In the meantime, improvements underway at the terminal, expanding vending machine options and adding new flat panel TVs to increase advertising and showcase the Yakima Valley. Not only the wineries and the hops and the beer, the breweries and the, the fruit, but there's a lot of amazing outdoor activities here. And in the long term, the goal is to make Yakima the state's preferred airport location because of its central location, long runway, capacity to expand, and vision for how electric aviation can help solve problems. That push continuing even after the Commercial Aviation Coordinating Commission hit a dead end while trying to find a new spot to compensate for projected overcrowding at SeaTac. Unfortunately, they did not have any real meaningful recommendation. But the Yakima Airport Director says with the new commercial aviation working group set to start over near the end of the month, Yakima still has a shot at getting that spot. In Yakima, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. And we have new information just into the newsroom. We have just heard that the Yakima City Council has approved the contract that would bring back that second Seattle flight. Now, as the airport is making all of these changes, they are open to recommendations from the public. They're hoping you'll let them know what you want to see in the Yakima Airport.